Sunday. Yeah, we hung out so many times on Sunday. Yeah, but I don't hang out on Sunday. This is, I want this to be a specific rest day. I want to have, I want to have fun. Because we hung out on Sundays. I know, but I haven't hung out. I don't know what I mean. What would be the difference? I can't. so cool this is the second time i've done critique this is like the coolest thing you can do ever you know there's like especially once once you finish removing your ego it's just like it's the coolest thing to uh hear you know stuff about the poem and i thought the exact same thing about the eyes like when i was reading i was like this sounds like you know like a teenager and it's just sometimes i think i fall in that habit and the name of this poem is called i so i <laughs> So what life has stolen from me so gloriously stolen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Alright, so the song I'm gonna read by Kay I was in vitriol and he also did the art on the cover. It's called No Way. Most people cannot. Well nobody cares. Converse, Texas. I love this gym because uh, 24 hour access with the little keypad thing. And then you come here a lot, there's like nobody here, especially during the day. Um, you get to move around during the day like I do. In this whole room, I come in here sometimes just to do my dope secret Kenya workout. I just did a mile today. Anyway, though. Just thought I'd show you my anytime fitness. Uh, anyway, yeah. About the gym and how that's kind of like a source of meditation for some people. Meditation, relaxing, lifting weights. Um, I don't go as often as I should, but I just went right now. That was my thought. So, uh... What's up? Wanted to make this video to talk about something I think every artist should know. Um, and every entrepreneur has to know. You don't have a choice if you're an entrepreneur. It's all, it's all about paying your dues, okay? And realizing that paying your dues, it doesn't feel like anything if you're following your passion. But that doesn't mean you're going to not have to do it, okay? So you might as well follow your passion because you might not make it through if, if you're not passionate enough to go through all the steps and the periods that it takes to get to where you really want I've been um, blogging. You might know me right now. I'm, I'm a poet. I've been writing poetry um, since I was 18. And I can s still don't consider poetry my hustle because poetry comes so naturally to me. It's a form of expression, and I love to share it more so just because I love getting the feedback from people who it also touches because it means so much to me when I write a poem. Like, honestly, it's, it's my number one um, encounter with beauty in my life. So, like, to be able to share that with someone else... Poetry is never going to, I'm never, I'm probably paying my dues, but I don't even know that I'm paying my dues because I feel like my dues are paying me <laughs> when it comes to poetry. Um, but with entrepreneurship, um, that I've always been very ambitious about. You know, you don't start a business because necessarily you like businesses. Um, you think businesses are cool. Maybe there's a little bit of that. And I do think businesses are cool. And since starting businesses and trying to start businesses and do things, I found out that I actually really just enjoy building businesses like I'm, I do it out of, like, like almost entertainment. Like, uh, not entertainment, but I'm passionate about it. I love to see a business succeed. But it takes a long time. But because I think I'm passionate, it helped me go through it. But I've been blogging since before I've been writing 
what I considered poems, actually. I've been blogging, blo blogging, and I started my first website. I don't remember my first website, but let me say the first website that I remember was called Cujo.com. This was back in the day, C-U-G-O-U. In my mind, it was short for Culture Journey. Um, that was my first website. Even that one I designed a few different times, and then... Um, I had, you know, I started reaching out to people. Anyway, that was my first experience. Since then, I've had successful blogs. I was able to sell a blog in 2010. Um, then I, because uh, I was young and I was, I was in a different frame of mind, and I wanted to start something that was more me. And so I started um, my, another blog after that one in 2011. After I sold that blog in 2010, I started one immediately. Um, around 2010, and then I, I ran that up until, and it changed names, and I ran that up until about 2015, it started as independent-blog, it was, it was cool, I was lucky to get that username, but anyway, I'm saying all this to say that I spent a long time blogging, and you know, anything that I understand about blogging or websites now, um, it wasn't, it was nothing but just like the action of building and learning how to build it. And even though there's been a lot of successes um, on that way, they weren't enough to really justify what I was doing, you know, for the hours that I was putting in. And that's what paying your dues is. That's why people call it paying your dues, because you're giving more value than you're getting monetarily. Um, you're, you're putting in a lot of energy, and I put a lot of energy in, but, you know, I think it's weird to expect someone else to pay you to go to school. That's how I look at it now. And um, I was in school. I was learning. Sure, I was doing some good stuff. I, I had my AdSense on there. So, you know, I learned how to start generating money through AdSense. Um, I made my mistakes on there. I tried to stick with pure, pure, pure just blogging for too, for too long because, um, you know, I wasn't in a niche enough. So with independent blog, thinking back, I should have jumped on to YouTube a lot faster. I did towards the end. Um, but I should have jumped on it a lot faster. And then other websites I've worked on with other people, they all taught me something. But it, it's been years. It's been years. Um, we're in 2018 now. So that means I've been blogging for about well, like 10 plus years. Um, so, and you know, my website right now is the most successful. Well, it'll soon be. And I'm just talking monetarily. It'll soon be the most successful website. Well, no, it'll take a little while to get there, but it's on track to, to be one of my favorite websites, and I'm happy for that. And um, I just want you guys to really settle in and enjoy paying your dues. It's going to take a while, but if you find your passion, it'll be easy as hell. See ya.